What's up, Nuthood players? It's the Tan Man, and today I'm going to tell you all about hunts and how you can three star them. Man. Hunts play a very important part in character progression. They are the most effective way to farm common, rare, and epic hero shards. You will need these shards to increase hero star levels, which are important to unlock their full potential. Hunts are also the most effective way to farm the various forms of Tellurian and Vulcanite. This ore is needed to upgrade your weapons and armor, and in the end game, you're going to need a lot. Completing a hunt awards both shards and ore, so hunts should naturally play a part in your daily knighthood activity. Hunts can be accessed directly from the world map and are unlocked by clearing the nodes leading up to them. Each map also has a hunt master, which is unlocked in the same way. More on hunt masters later. Once unlocked, hunts and hunt masters can be accessed through the hunts menu. Completing a hunt within a certain number of turns will grant stars. Receiving 3 stars on a hunt will allow you to raid it. When raiding a hunt, you will immediately receive the fame, gold, shards, and ore without having to fight the enemies again. This is a great way to stay under the stamina cap, especially if you have limited playtime. Raiding does have its drawbacks, however. You will not receive any knight or hero experience. You will also not be able to capture minions. Speaking of minions, they spawn randomly on hunts and will always appear as the first enemy in the enemy list. They are identified by this cage icon. If you are wearing the correct gauntlet to capture the minion, the icon will be green. As long as you have the correct gauntlet equipped, you will capture the minion once the hunt is completed as long as you don't raid it. There are three difficulties of hunts, normal, expert, and soon master. Hunts on higher difficulties cost more stamina but offer greater rewards. If you have a choice between doing the normal or expert hunt, do the expert one. I'll use this Grax hunt to explain why. As you can see, the normal hunt awards one pure Vulcanite and costs 71 stamina. The expert hunt gives the same number of hero shards, but it also gives two pure Vulcanite. And check this out, it only costs 85 stamina. This means for just a 20% increase in stamina, you have a 100% increase in ore. Mmm. Um, yes please. This will not be the exact same case for all the hunts, but keep this in mind the next time you're raiding. So about those hunt masters I mentioned earlier. Each hunt master will give you rewards based on how many stars you've collected on their map. These rewards include hero dust and drops, forged stones, gauntlet cores, and even equipment. One piece of interest is this unique magical helm from completing all the expert white peak hunts. For a lot of players, myself included, this is your first piece of unique armor, so it's a great milestone. Another piece of interest is unique golem weapon from Expert Realm of Fire Hunts. If you haven't already crafted this, it's a welcome addition. All these rewards are great, and to collect them all, you'll need to 3 star every single hunt. Make it a point not to move into the next map without at least 3 starring all the hunts in the map prior. So now I'm going to go over some tips to think about when 3 starring these hunts. Of course you could just wait until you outgear the hunt and 3 star them easily. But if you're planning on 3-starring the Expert Realm of Fire hunts, or any hunts for that matter, please consider the following. Tip number 1. The less heavies, the better. All hunts have various enemy compositions, and some are definitely harder than others. You need to complete these hunts as fast as possible, and enemies with large health pools are going to slow you down. It's worth it to manually play the encounter a few times to see all the different enemy compositions. Once you pick out the weakest lineup, it's time to strike. Tip number two, AoE is your friend. AoE, or area of effect, refer to abilities, especially rage powers, that damage multiple enemies at once. A perfect example of such an ability is Vordry's rage power. Abilities such as this will help you clear waves super fast. Tip number three, dots are your friends too. Dots, or damage over time, refer to the status effects that damage enemies at the end of the turn, which include acid, burn, and poison. Don't underestimate the powers of these effects. Turns do not end until after the enemy phase, so sometimes a dot is enough to kill a weakened enemy and save you an entire turn. Tip number 4. No wasted actions. This can also apply to other modes in the game as well. At the start of your turn, if you have a single enemy left that will die in two weapon swings, don't just attack twice. First of all, heal and buff yourself if you can. As long as you can push the fight into the next wave on the same turn, the end of turn effects don't go off. You can go into the next wave with a full stack of regen and focus for example. 
Once you've healed and buffed yourself, punch the enemy. This will help recharge your hero abilities and generate much needed rage. Going into the next wave with a full rage meter, hero abilities, and buffs is just so good. Do it. Tip number 5. Use potions. In particular, potions such as the haste and rage potions are sometimes the difference between 2 and 3 stars. Sure, maybe in other modes, speed is not important and you can spend several turns just healing yourself. But in three-starring hunts, every action is crucial. If you've played a hunt and you have it within eight to nine turns, a couple of haste potions should get you the rest of the way. If a hunt has a really big wave that can be killed in one turn, consider using a rage potion instead. When to use either of these potions will depend on the encounter. I know some players who don't like using potions like they're a cheap way of finishing fights. Stop hoarding these potions, guys. Time-sensitive fights like these are exactly what they're meant for. Now for some recommendations. I highly recommend getting the Maverick Gauntlet ASAP. If you haven't seen my best gauntlet video, check it out. You'll be able to generate rage very quickly, and being able to use rage abilities and back-to-back -back turns is an enormous help. Another pointer is if a hunt has multiple enemy types, bring the weapon that will kill its heavies the fastest. The other enemies with less health should be generally easier to kill. You should be able to kill them with just punches or rage abilities. Speaking of punches, regardless of the gauntlet you end up choosing to use, make sure to spend some time upgrading punch boost. You'll be surprised how much a stronger punch can help 3 star a hunt. Last recommendation? Don't beat yourself up if you can't 3 star a hunt. Sometimes it's just best to leave it alone and come back later when you're stronger. Expert realm of fire hunts for example? You should probably not start these until you've cleared the onslaught dungeon and campaign anyway. And that's it for my hunt guide. If you found this video informative, leave it a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or want to win some gems, make sure to drop by my Twitch stream. I stream Nighthood every Tuesday and Friday at 8pm Eastern. Thanks for watching guys, Tan Man out.